Uh, hi, this is the BINTI 3113 image processing and pattern recognition mini project presentation. My name is Kujun Cheng with the metric number B032020044. I'm from 2BINTI S1G1DE. Uh, lecturer name is Dr. Asmala bin Ahmad. My project title is Coin Counting. So now start at, uh, with the introduction. Uh, with the problem statement, even though there is existing method to coin count such as the coin counting machine, but it's expensive for about 850 ringgit and only with its functionality. However, the computing device such as laptop is more popular and can even use uh, to done coin counting tasks through image processing. So three objective is to investigate requirements need to develop the program and to design the program based on the requirement. And last, to develop and test the program. Followed with the image processing concept to be used is morphology and shape representation and description. Uh, we look at the methodology which is the flowchart. So first we need to take image. Uh, uh, we need to uh, set up a camera, a standstill camera, and then back with the black background cover and put any coin that have different size with different value. So we have coin image. We pass to the next, the next one. So we process the image with by converting to the uh, grayscale image and analyze image data <coughs> histogram to determine the range of the region of uh, interest and convert the image to the binary image which is the true and false. And now we differentiate uh, the image uh, of the coin and with the uh, background. So next we come to the refinement. So we fill the black hole with uh, within the coin image first and then we create a structuring element and apply erosion to delete the noise caused by the light reflection of the uh, small dark particles and then apply dilation to repair the important detail delete by the erosion and last we analyze the uh, Im refine image we label all the object and measure the size of each object and then we determine the size of uh, for each object then we have the value based on the object size and last, we calculate the total value of the coin in the image. So have a look at the uh, standstill camera with the background, black background use. Next, uh, result with the coding. So here is the input and the result. Uh, so this is the original color Im coin image input. Uh, and this is the result, last result, which is the coin is uh, labeled as the different object and it's uh, count as so here is the 10 cent here and this is the 50 cent so we have the result 0 0.6 cent uh, 0 0.6 ringgit uh, next we uh, come to the coding so this is one of the important coding which is uh, image refinement and label so the first three lines are refined the image by uh, filling the hole which are black uh, within the coin and delete the noise such as the uh, dust particle fall at the background. So this tree is for the refinement. And then other code below used to uh, label the coin by finding the centroid of the image and then use the loop to label the centroid, uh, loop to label at the centroid of position. Since the coin are circle, the centroids mean the center uh, position of the circle. So you can see now, this one is used to calculate the centroid and then we show the image and then here is used to uh, label the image next we look at the analysis and calculation so the first line is to define uh, the variable used in the calculation and analysis so we have three uh, variable figure is only to uh, open another figure uh, the outermost for, for loop this one is used to go through the label object and then calculate the number of the true pixel uh, which is this coding area so uh, after calculate the so after calculate the true pixel for each object we know the uh, total size uh, of the object and here decide the threshold for each type of coin with the fifth line so uh, so after deciding, uh, so after we deciding, we change the condition statement uh, in the if else code, which is this one. Um, so 
and this is based on the analysis which hence this is the 50 cent so and for this and this side uh, for this side range we uh, set as the 10 cent so uh, the nested loop uh, the nested loop follow is used to visualize the sequence of the object, which is this one. Later, we will uh, look at the coding. Mm. Uh, also used to detect whether there is noise exist still exists or not. So other code left is used to assign the coil value based on the area uh, and then display with the window, which is this one. So we, we make it into the uh, RM and then we display the total so we now we come to the analysis and discussion uh, so this is the second uh, the second step which is we convert uh, to the grayscale image to find the region of interest so using the black cover we using black cover and convert to grayscale image the pixel range interval from 0 to uh, 250 uh, to 255 can be separate with a obvious gap so we can see the gap here with the histogram uh, the pixel near the black is near to which is near to 0 is the background which is the black yeah, background and the pixel near to the white which is near to the 255 is the coin region pixel which is here so here can decide the region of interest to identify the region of coins into binary image uh, with the range 100 to 220 but to reduce most of the noise caused by the light infection or the dust particle uh, it has been set to uh, 150 so with the previous setting from the analysis we can uh, this is the result we have uh, obtained um, okay. So the region is the true region is the coin and the false region is the background. There is no obvious noise, uh, noise but there is the hole within the coin region, which is this one. We need to uh, fill it. So we are using the Im image fill uh, function uh, with the parameter we write down holes. The back region we, uh, within the coin will be filled. Uh, with a white pixel later so follow with the morphological then follow with the morphological opening that is erosion and then direction we need delete the um, obvious uh, wise may maybe that cannot too small cannot see by eyes here and direction to repair the important detail effect by the erosion <coughs> then a perfectly clean region result as in the input and result slide will be produced so this is the result we can get from And then last, uh, we look at the advantage and disadvantage <coughs> and constraint while doing the project. So the advantage is uh, able to reduce every setting as long as the camera setup is, the, uh, is still the same. And disadvantage is cannot recognize if the coin they have different value but uh, nearly same diameter. The constraint is when taking the image, the light must not direct uh, to the background of the coin. Uh, light infection on either will cause too much true pixel as noise to be used when covered uh, to binary image. Now we look at the demonstration of the coding. So you can see uh, this part is already explained, which is refinement. Then here is labor. Then this is the calculation part. So now we try to run to see the result first. So you can see the result is 0 0.6 cent uh, RM. So as uh, the presentation slide uh, mentioned before, all things is mentioned. Uh, so the step, the only step uh, the we need to show is here, the analyzing. So we add the semicolon after deciding the site of uh, for each type of coin, which is, uh, we need to uh, we need to analyze by our own. So here we look at 
So this is for the area one, which is uh, for the region, for the object one, which is the Tencent. So we change, uh, so we change the control statement within for for its range, and for fifty cent we also change to it hover. So after decide we can semicolon it. Uh, that's all. Thank you.